Not getting any Android operating system updates. What's the deal? But you're getting updates from somewhere. Android updates don't matter anymore. Most Android devices don't get timely operating system updates. But Google is updating the Android operating system in the background. Android 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4 are minor updates, so what do I mean? Well, Android updates were once extremely important. For example, when Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich came out, it brought an entirely redesigned interface, performance improvements, and even APIs were limited to the Android 4.0. Certain apps wouldn't run on devices without Android 4.0, such as Google Chrome, which required Android 4.0, so devices that were never upgraded from Android 2.3, Gingerbread, still can't use Google Chrome today. The leap to Android 4.0 was huge. Android 4.1 was also extremely important, making the interface much more smooth and less laggy with Project Butter. Compared to Android 4.0 and Android 4.1, the most recent versions of Androids are minor updates. Android 4.4 is the biggest update bringing sufficiently reduced memory usage, but if you have a device that came with a recent version of the Android, it's probably already running well and these memory reductions are only nice to have. So how about Google Play Services updates? Now Google is updating Android devices, but it isn't updating the Android operating system. When a manufacturer wants to release an Android device, they have to negotiate an agreement with Google to get the Google Play Store and Google Apps on their devices. As part of the agreement, Google reserves the right to update the Google Play Services components on Android devices. These components automatically update in the background on your Android device. And there's no way for you or the device's manufacturer to stop from occurring. Even though Google doesn't update OS regularly, Google has been adding quite a few features to Android through Google Play services. These updates affect devices all the way back to the Android 2.3 Gingerbread and 2.2 Froyo, which was released in 2010. Don't get me wrong, Google has added the Android Device Manager with a device tracking feature to nearly all Android devices thanks to a Google Play service update. They also added an app scanning feature that scans siloed apps for malware if you choose to enable it, making other devices more secure. The more features were added to the Android operating system via a Play service update without any interference from the device, manufacturer, or the carrier. Who has added new APIs for developers to use, including a more efficient location API and dramatically reducing battery usage, the old method required each separate app to wake up the GPS hardware and determine your location on its own. These are the kind of updates that would require a complete operating system update on other platforms. However, Google has managed to perform these updates and go around the carriers and manufacturers that are slowing things down and releasing updates for nearly all Android devices. If your device has the Play Store, and it should, Google is updating it. So where are the operating system updates? Certain things still require operating system updates. Operating system level features like multiple user accounts, memory usage reductions, or even support for new hardware standards like Bluetooth 4.0 can be rolled out in the background that require new versions of the core operating system. However, these updates are becoming less and less sufficient, Google is rolling out as many new features as possible and these updates are mostly Play Store apps. 
The reality is Android updates have become less and less sufficient if you have a device with Android 4.1 or 4.2 if you have a very modern Android experience with most of the latest features. You can still use all the latest apps because Google has given you the latest APIs. This is Google's plan to battle Android's lack of updating its devices both for developers and users. Developers get the access to the same APIs across all Android devices while users get access to the features and new apps quicker. So far it seems to be working. What's your thoughts?